How's it going guys? This evening I'm going to do a little bit more of a lighter kind of day test. It is overcast on this AgriEyes uh, remote LED beacon. Um, it's coming up on winter time so everyone's looking for something small. This is definitely small. Everything is still in the box from when I got it. Um, it literally takes up no room if you want to throw it in your trunk of your car or anything. And I kind of have a idea that most people won't use this for. So I kind of was going to share that. Most of the time when you're sitting on the side of the highway, a lot of people have to end up leaving their car behind to go either get a tire fixed or something like that. And they leave their hazards on so no one hits their car and you get back to your car and most vehicles nowadays still have incandescent bulbs and it will kill your battery so then not only do you have to replace whatever you took to go get fixed or anything like a tire or whatever now you have to get a jump start as well so my idea is if you had something like this in your car you could just stick it in the back window I would say stick it on top, but people nowadays will drive by and steal it. So if you just stuck this, either normal flashing or sweeping back and forth or whatever, you literally just set this on the back, back part of the window. And then people see your car, they can't get to it, it's out of the weather, even though it is weatherproof. Um, so I'm going to test that real quick and kind of see what it looks like. Cause I just kind of thought of that in my mind, but I haven't actually tried it. So that's what we're going to try right now. Uh, we're going to take our handy dandy wireless remote with us. I'm on the back side of the creek. Um, but there's not a whole lot of traffic. There is some, so we'll get some weird looks, but uh, let's go ahead and try this out. Yeah, so we are going to go ahead and I don't know if the remote's powered on right now. See, that's all I'm talking about. Just do that. Something simple. Extremely simple. Like that, just one of your broken hands you to keep it there. And then you have your remote and you just turn it on, but I think I have to turn the light on first. <laughs> I do forget that every once in a while. You have to turn it on the first time. And then you can use your remote. So here we are with the light in the back. Um, it's not the brightest thing through the window, but it's definitely better than your hazards. Let's try a very different mode and see if that helps. Yeah, the mode's definitely going to help. It's like that. That'd be perfect. Yeah, that's kind of my little short idea. Um, let's, let's go down here to the tree line back here and see, see what it looks like from back here. So, I don't know, kind of a idea I didn't, I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle do this with this kind of light. It kind of reminds me of the old rotating lights you'd use as a dash light um, back in the old days. But we're back over here and it's definitely noticeable. It's about as noticeable as normal hazards, um, but it is LED, so it's definitely a benefit. But yeah. It's kind of a short little sweet video. Just wanted to see what it looked like and you don't have to run down your car battery. And this thing is supposed to last eight hours like this. So I mean that's definitely a benefit. More than likely if you leave your car sitting on the shoulder for eight hours it will not be there when you get back anyways. And then the other thing, if you're on a single lane road, say something like this, I bet you can see that from the front too. Yes, you can see that from the front as well. I didn't even think about that till just now. So yeah, definitely an idea. If anyone wants to use this idea to their benefit, and just use your little remote and try it Change whatever flash pattern you want. Yeah, that's kind of uh, the end of this video. Just kind of a short little idea that I had. So, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.